Hello, in this video, I'm going to take a look at a plugin from Swab Digital called Gold Clip. It's a clipper plugin, mainly designed for mastering, but you could also use it creatively for mixing to get the maximum loudness out of, for me, I struggle sometimes to get my snare as loud as possible or kick drum or even the drum bus. So what I'm going to do is just use it first on the master fader, and then I'll go in and use it on individual elements of the mix, like the drum bus and guitars and bass and things like that. So I've got it here on the mix bus. Already got 4 dB of clip in there. And delta the signal. Then you can also change the box tone to a more classic box tone. Or modern. You can sort of hear what's happening there with the delta enabled. You can also change the classic to from or the clipper from classic to modern. Modern seems a bit more distorted. Or hard clip. I think hard clip's good for more transient stuff. But classic, I'm liking. Same with this, you've got modern and classic. Quite like the sound of classic. If you pay attention to the output on the master, minus 6.4, if I bypass the plugin, jump up to probably about 2 dB, minus 2 dB. So that's currently 5 dB of clipping. Your gold clip is the gold and alchemy. I'll just turn on tool tips to see what their description is for that. So non-linear gain. And then reshapes the ascent and descent of the peak signal. Mid and high frequencies are reduced as the signal approaches the clip point. So you hear perceived loudness here. bypass loudness has gone up quite a lot there. Hear what they are adding in Delta. Clipping enabled is keeping it at around minus six. I mean, probably don't want to use quite so aggressive clipping on the master, but it's handling it well.
very transparent to me. What I'm going to do is go on and use it on the drum bus as well. I'm getting quite a lot of clean gain out of that by clipping. as best you can. Play the same thing on the guitars. Only want to do it very, very gently on the guitar. Very 
your music, this seems fantastic. see myself getting addicted to clipping and mixing um, in particular, but for mastering I'm very interested to see how this affects the overall dynamics. Usually I measure the dynamic range using meter plugs dynamometer, but I can see myself on certain songs anyway using gold clip first and then running that into my chosen limiter. So I'm interested to see how that affects the overall dynamic range of the songs. I know that there are a couple of the heavier songs that the dynamic range kind of dips quite low on dynameter, so if I can squeeze an extra bit of loudness out of those tracks without them sounding distorted by the limiter, that would be excellent. But yeah, for me, it sounds really transparent, particularly on drum buses and mixing, I could see myself using that on the regular. One thing about this plugin is that it is fairly expensive at $250, so I believe they do like a pay monthly thing where you it's basically like $25 a month for 10 months. It is one of the more expensive plugins out there, but it actually seems really, really good. So I can definitely recommend it if you're interested in a good clipper. This is a very good one. I'll maybe do another video just comparing the results with the clippers that I have. So I have the Newfangled Audio Elevate clipper. I have one of the acoustical ones that gets Fire the Gold or something. It's just a sort of a one knob clipper plugin. I have the one that's built into Abyss. And then I have I think I've got one more. It's like a Apogee clipper. It was a free one. But yeah, there's a clipper built in to Abyss, which isn't bad, as well as a nice sort of vintage limiter. I don't think it's a true peak limiter, but it's handy for drum bus and stuff like that but yeah for sure running the drum bus or a kick and a snare into gold clip you could really smash them and get like a lot of perceived volume from them which is very cool because that's something i struggle with quite a lot clipping seems to be a good solution for it so hopefully you find this video helpful and i will be back with more videos soon cheers